So what's the mood like today? It must be hard staying motivated day two. Mood is, is still good. Um, junior doctors are still coming out in full force. We've heard that 80% of junior doctors have come out um, and participated in this strike because we feel so strongly that we're, we're being buoyed on by the public support. We're being encouraged by support from our consultants, nurses coming out and supporting us, public stopping in the street and giving us cakes, chocolates. Um, so, so I think our morale is still pretty good at the moment. And seeing all the positive messages, seeing all the things that have happened on the streets in London and elsewhere yesterday, we, we know that we have a lot of support and we know that our message is clear. Any problems at the hospital yesterday? No problems that, that we've been aware of here. We, we know that we've got full consultant support and, and actually they've made very good preparations to ensure that, that they're on the wards in A&E, on the acute medical wards, um, acute surgical wards to ensure that patients who come in um, to yesterday and today, like they do any other day, receive prompt and uh, excellent emergency care, uh, safe, the message is, is still clear. If you're sick and you need to come into hospital, come into hospital, don't believe the headlines. And where do you go from here? More action? Um, I, I think junior doctors don't, don't know if there's going to be more industrial action. I think our hope is that we won't need to. Um, and, and our desperate hope is that we won't have to because we, we, we just don't want to continue along that line. We want uh, the government to drop in position. But I think the, the key message actually is for um, us to communicate with our trusts and our medical directors and chief executives now and encourage them to speak up about the concerns they are having about trying to implement this contract, which quite frankly isn't really implementable. It's uncosted, it's not going to be effective, is going to leave massive rotor gaps. If 20 chief executives in this country stood up to the Department of Health, wrote a letter, came public and came out and, and said, this isn't going to work, can you please look at this again? Drop the position in 2016, get behind the table with junior doctors and plan properly for a seven-day NHS. This dispute, I believe, would be over immediately.